Center. I noticed that Fiona and Jeff have their Spurs Tim Duncan spirit going on today. Day yes, we do. Day today. Tim yes. Duncan Day. It's Tim Duncan Day. And, you know, Timmy has done so much for the community. We wanted to thank him by giving back. Yeah, we're aff offering you the chance to step in and, uh, you know, make the next play. <laughs> so help us by doing 21 of something positive today. We're calling this 21 for 21. I'm going to leave and continue what we've started. Okay. Oh, no, that means he's coming uh -oh. over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, brace yourselves. We're thinking some examples of, you know, 21 good things is like 21 cans to the food bank. 21 hugs, 21 messages to friends and family to tell them that you love them, 21 high fives, $21 to a local charity. Hey, in hello. some way, hey, you there yet? That is was, it, there he is. What's he gonna do? I'm gonna hug oh. Leslie Mouton. Oh, so this is. 21 times? 21 hugs. 21 hugs. <laughs> stay there for 21 minutes. That's right. <laughs> See, we're, we're here in the building with y'all, right? <laughs> you just proved it. Well, yeah. what, what's wrong? Was, think, actually, she, I love it. It's a great idea and I like Sure, well, thank you that. very much. I, I made it out in the tr in the back of the truck on the way over. No, well, there's a company. This is a collectors. Really? I forget the name of the company. All the time. Uh, great, I love it. But they're they're really Teachers. cool. Anyway, so we're giving out hugs. Okay. Yeah. So you're going back yeah. to Studio B. Yeah, but Studio B. We couldn't afford the whole B. But uh, <laughs> we are looking for a new home. No hug for Martha. We gave 21 hugs earlier to folks around the office. Here's a look at some of those <laughs> pictures. Goodbye, Amber. Right, you guys, we'll take it from here. <laughs> Ah, hey, we're back. So here's a look at what hey, we did here's Megan. To try and help spread the love. And hey, you know, maybe even pay it forward. You yeah. know, today. If you can't do 21 or something, maybe, you know, buy the next person's coffee and do something good. Look at you. Look at Josie. Josie, she's like, no, I can't handle yeah. it, but I want it. Oh, there's Scott. Yeah, he's designing our new set. Oh, it's our boss. There's the that's the head <laughs> man. Yeah, that's why I was leaning in closer. So we're doing. <laughs> oh, there's Ishi's Romero. Oh, look at you with the cutouts. Yeah, still, she she lot. really doesn't do meet and greets. All right, so let us know how are you paying it forward for Tim Duncan? Share your hashtag 21 for 21, and we could share your picture and story on the show. Yeah, we'll make you famous. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready to dig into some good food? I know Shane Reed is here, and when he walked in the door, we could smell it, <laughs> and that's a good thing. Dig now what he means. Is here. He's got an appetite pleaser, a signature burnt end loaded baked potato, and more. Hey, Shane. What? what? All right, you guys ready? All right, so. Wait, what is that? Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, this would be our burn in melt. Uh, it's definitely uh, been a popular item over the last year and a half since we've been open. Uh, this is our brisket burn ins. Uh, with our house-made mac and cheese, oh, yeah. slicedly thin pear, topped with more cheese, barbecue sauce, and ciabatta. Uh, lightly toasted for a couple of minutes to your satisfaction and out the door. And so, lightly down in my belly that's right. for the rest of the day and wash it down with something good looks like a spur. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Branch Lines uh, Silver and Black Can, uh, wow. definitely uh, recommended to go uh, down with the burning melt and the brisket baked potato. So you, you smoke all your meat in-house, right? Yes, Man, we smoke means. all of our meats, uh, the brisket to turkey to uh, smoked bologna, pastrami, uh, pork belly. I mean, you name it, we've got it. We try to uh, accommodate all the taste buds. So the burnt end loaded baked potato, the burnt end refers to the brisket, right? Correct, yes. We uh, use the whole brisket on this one. Uh, we cube it down. We smoke it anywhere from 8 to 12 hours, depending on the size. Um, we let it rest in the freezer for about an hour after smoke. We cut it down into cube size um, pieces, like as you so, can see. Yeah, so if you've ever smoked your own brisket, you've, you've come across these little morsels of, of meat, right? Beautiful. They're, oh, absolutely. So, yeah. They're we, the point of the brisket, right? Correct. You saved okay. the best for last, right? Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right, so how do we get started with okay. this? Okay. You, you want to get into this? Fiona, uh, I'm mm. going to handle the sandwich while you wrestle the baked potato. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> How'd I draw that straw? <laughs> but I have the knife. <laughs> Sounds pretty even to me. All right. All right. We're going to go from tip all the way down. Cut. Straight down. Straight down. There all you the go. way through. All the way through. All the way like that. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, Keep going. Yeah. Okay. To right there. Beautiful. Almost. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to open it up just like that. Okay. Now you're going to take this knife. Mm -hmm. You're going to open it up a little bit, kind of 
break just it down a little bit, make it a little bit easier for everybody to eat. Yeah, just break it in there, get in there, get in there, just break it in there. Yeah, like you would a baked potato. Little right. Michael Myers on right. it. There you what? go. What? <laughs> Michael Myers. <laughs> now that's a knife. There you go. All right. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So right now we're gonna hit it with uh, our uh, kosher salt. So just a pinch. Pinch. You know, there you go, perfect, okay. beautiful. Mm -hmm. A pinch of our uh, house seasoning, which is our crazy coral seasoning. It's, oh, beautiful, perfect. Ooh, you like right. it? Oh, you yes, like, I it like it spicy? Yes, I do. You are like a spicy. spicy. Is crazy coral in a sanitarium somewhere? <laughs> uh, Who is he? Crazy Carl is actually our uh, food truck that is actually located at the Block UTSA. Okay. So, I'm just uh, checking. Yeah, he's uh, he's a crazy guy out there. But, yeah, all right, that's crazy so, coral. We're gonna hit it with the butter. Okay. Hit it. I mean, we we all love butter here, so no, we're gonna get one it. here. Let's get two more dollops over two, there. Two, and Beautiful. then one more. And if you're gonna get there a big potato, go. you might as well do it right, right? Oh yeah. Okay, we got the butter. Now we're gonna go with the mac and cheese. Ooh, all right. Ooh, what's what's it seasoned with? Is that just? That is our actually the house seasoning, uh -huh. salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And Okay. Simplicity is always good sometimes. Okay. Beautiful. Got plenty of mac on there. Next, with the burnt ends. All right. So now the burnt ends. So you just kind of, uh, how, how much of this am I putting in there? All right. Uh, load it up. Just load it up. This load is the loaded part of the baked potato. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Be generous. Oh, there you yes. Go. Beautiful. Okay. Right. I think that looks good. Okay. All right. Now we're going to hit it with some more cheese. With some more cheese. Beautiful. All right, Watch on the this. top. Oh, look at this. Okay. okay. Yes, look at that. Chive? Some chives. Whoa. Beautiful. A little jalapeno? Some jalapenos. Whoo, I know, right? I'm going to need something to watch that down. And now the sour cream. And just some sour cream. All right. Beautiful. Ooh, look that at that. That is amazing. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. Shame so there it is. Rest. Oh, is my gosh. That is Beautiful. incredible. You need a job? <laughs> <laughs> I would need training wheels. I would be eating I need everything. To, I, may I try no, some of this? To. This is what's happening. We need to go ahead yeah, and dig into this. Shane, this is tailored by where they can find you. We're at uh, 1701 East Houston Street. Uh, we're, we're actually in the old Murph Burger, um, the old Murph Burger building. Uh, it's been a building for uh, around, uh, it's been around for a long, long time. and. Uh, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. So no, uh, you can find us anywhere from 5 to 10, Monday through Friday. Uh, and then we reopen, uh, I'm sorry, 11 to 3, Monday through Friday for lunch, and then 5 to 10, uh, Monday through Saturday for dinner, which is a la carte barbecue. Right oh, yeah. yeah take right. them on for later. Very right. nice. For more information on Dignity Meats, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Let me All tell right, you, so you, with you, you did a great job building that. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Tim Duncan. You guys, happy Tim Duncan Day. Yeah, <laughs> no, we're going to dig into that in a moment. <laughs> well, with all that food, you kind of need to wash it down. So I found a place where you can crack a cold one and enjoy a cruise. It's a cool new experience to experience all of the cool breweries in and around San Antonio, even all the way up to the hill country. Mm -hmm. Watch this as we take a craft cruise. Yes, five o'clock with vapor cans. Jailbreak. Hey, Fiona, yeah. would you like to go on another SA Live Big adventure? Why, yes, I would. It's a good thing we're sponsored by... Ansira Winton Chevrolet. Go to AnsiraWintonChev.com. Hop aboard. I shall. Your chariot awaits. The big adventure starts now. Okay, we're here. You want to tour some of San Antonio's coolest breweries? The problem is you need a ride. Oh, I found one. Oh. Our big adventure is on Craft Cruiser. They will take you all over San Antonio and even as far as Marble Falls. Hey, y'all ready for a cold beer? Hey, all right, let's go on our big adventure. Let's get on board. So Dan Ward is the owner of Craft Cruisers and he is our chauffeur today on our big adventure. <laughs> yes. Dan, tell us a little bit about Craft Cruisers. Well, Craft Cruiser, we started off as uh, we just wanted to get people to realize that Marble Falls has a lot of great breweries in it, a couple like Save the World and stuff. But then I started thinking, why not explore San Antonio since we live here and everything is fantastic as well. So then I just started thinking more and more and more, well, you know, there's over 900 breweries in Texas alone. so. Let's share that knowledge with everybody in San Antonio. 
How do folks register or hop aboard? Right, you just go to sacraftcruiser.com and you'll, it's really easy to navigate and really easy to buy a ticket there. Oh, wow, this, this is like a dream come true. It's the biggest beer ever. It's just a beer. Cheers. Well, we've cruised on in. The craft cruiser has landed. <laughs> Eugene Seymour, owner of the Alamo uh, Beer Company, joins us, and you have lined up some beers for tasting. Well, welcome. Typically what we do on one of our tours is we go through a tasting. Uh, we line up the different beers. I mean, you can see they are different colors, but they also taste different as well. It's handcrafted. When we tour the brewery, you'll see we brew it in small batches, and it goes right from the building over there right to the tap here. And uh, you'll go through a tasting. You get to discover that uh, different beers made with different grains have different flavors and different tastes to it. It's kind of fun. So give that one a try. What do you think? It's good. Next! Oh, I think you'd like this one. What we do now is typically we will we'll, we'll do a full glass of beer and we'll walk through the, uh, the uh, brewery and give you an idea of how everything's made. Cheers. <laughs> You are in an active brewery. Please don't touch anything. Look at here, hot liquor pump, hot, hot liquor pump. Yo! Yo, I'm hearing things. So this is what we call the, the brewing system or the, or the brew house. This, wow. is, this is the hot side of things. This is where we take the malted barley, we mix it with hot water. It creates almost a porridge in this kettle here, which is called the mash tun. That gets pumped up to the kettle up there on the top. That's called the lauder tun. It has a big screen in the bottom. No, I was serious about not touching anything. I don't want to get I kicked out before I, I finish I'm my beer. We, we all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Hey. Thanks for the tour, Eugene. Sure. You're here. Woo -hoo. All right, guys, you got ready to go. Let's head on to the next one. Let's go, Dan. Let's go. You're driving. <laughs> She's on her 17th beer. Hey. <laughs> Always a big adventure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lots of fun. We want to thank Ansira Winton Chevrolet. You can head to their website at ansirachev.com. April was in the back of the craft cruiser with us. You didn't <laughs> see her there, but we, we know she was asleep. Coming up on SA Live, we're getting messy with tie-dye. We're going to show you how you can make your own colorful T-shirts at home. All right. It's Tim Duncan Day. We are celebrating with the Grouchy Mama. And we're going to make their signature Big Timmy sandwich. It's a slam dunk next on SA Live. This is monster. I'm Dr. It's Tim Duncan Day. July the 21st, 2016, we salute the man, the big fundamental. We're making the big Timmy sandwich with the grouchy mama. But look, she's pleasant. <laughs> Hi, Pearl Flores. Hello. Nice How to see you? you. It's good to see you again. We love your food truck. Thank you. You stopped by today to introduce us to the big Timmy, and yes. this sandwich has so many great things in it. You just told yes. me it has all the fundamentals of a great sandwich, doesn't yes, it? Yes, sir. Tell me what's on it. It is our pulled pork that we wrap in banana leaves and cook overnight and we slice some Polish sausage. So we're putting the pork down, sliced sausage, barbecue sauce, pickle, and... Oh, wow. Now tell me what you again do to this barbecue. We wrap it in banana leaves, almost Kahlua style, Hawaiian Kahlua. You mind? No, go ahead. <laughs> All right, that's one ingredient. Yes. And I approve. Okay. <laughs> just, just so you know, see, the grouchy mama's not unhappy. Now, we're also cooking some Polish sausage over here. And how did you decide that this would be a part of the big, the big Timmy? Well, he announced his retirement and we were at the block all weekend and we wanted to do a sandwich in his honor. So we put the Timmy on the board and it sold really well out there. And they were like, what kind of sandwich is that? And we're like, it's just a bunch of pork. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of big food for a big guy who's done a lot of great things for San yes. Antonio. And I love your shirt. Where did you get that? Uh, our friends from Alamo Stampin' Engraving, she go. made them for us last night in the last minute. Well, see, that's how you get it done. We, we salute the big 21 today. Man. Yes. 
That's it. And you do you can So be, we thank her for that. You can be under 21 to order one of these sandwiches because I know you guys have an event <laughs> today at USA, USA a, yes sir. And then you're going to be where are you going to be cooking this weekend? This weekend Friday we are at in Cibolo at Old Main Ice House. Oh wow. And Sunday we have a private event and at the end of the month we'll be back at the block. Okay. And then the beginning of the month, we'll finally be making it to the point. Okay. Well, again, you got to find grouchy mama. So let's make a sandwich. Okay. okay. I think I'm doing pretty good with the sauce. Okay, Looks think? beautiful. And big Timmy. All right. So we put a big, big helping of that banana wrapped pulled pork that you're famous for at Grouchy Mama's on. Look at that. I got to tell you how good this looks. Yes. Wow. That's going to be a big sandwich. And then we put four of these. Four. One. Two. That's like a three-pointer with a technical added in, <laughs> and you crossed it over. Look at yes. look at that monster. So that it doesn't fall off. Mm -hmm. and then Pearl. we drizzle. Drizzle. Some. And, that, and what does that have in it? It's a barbecue sauce I make. It has onions. Um, look at that. Apple cider vinegar. Jalapeno mustard. Okay, so it's got onions in the barbecue sauce, and then what do you add now? We just add some pickles on top. And that gives it some beautiful color. And there we go. May I try this? Of course. This is the big fundamental. Big. <laughs> it, this is the big fundamentally. Big <laughs> Timmy. And uh, it may take 21 bites to eat it. But it's available on the Grouchy Mama food yes, sir. truck. Look at this. Yeah. This, is, this one's for you, Tim. I'm taking one for you, Tim. <laughs> Whoa. That is the Grouchy Mama. Thanks for coming by this morning. Coming up, the doctor is in inspirational stories on how people in our community are making a difference and making this a great place to live in the medical community. Also, the Deco Arts Festival has lots of great performers. We'll hear from these local ladies. That is coming up on SA Live. When the night Thanks for watching SA Live. I'm Jeff Roper along with Fiona Gorsiza and we celebrate San Antonio and you know here in this town with so many medical backgrounded people, the UT Health Science Center San Antonio is home to hundreds of professionals that are changing lives in split seconds right here in the medical field. And as a part of our new segment called The Doctor Is In, we're going to be sharing some of their inspiring and amazing stories, Fiona. Today we're featuring Dr. Stacy Young McCann, who's currently doing research on how exercise affects recovering patients. Here's her story. I grew up in a very small town in upstate New York. Both my parents were teachers and I think I learned service from them and helping others, whether it be young children or community members. Uh, when I was only 11 years old, my mother had breast cancer. My mom had a radical mastectomy, was very sick after surgery. But I remember my dad took my brothers and I up to see her and my mom asked me for a back rub. I don't know if she needed a back rub, but I think she recognized that we needed a physical connection, a touching between each other. And we were really lucky. My mom's still alive, doing really well in her late 80s. And I think that was my first introduction to nursing, taking care of other people during a period of critical illness and stress. Uh, when it came time for me to go to school, it just seemed like a natural choice to go into nursing school. And then once I graduated, I ended up joining the Army Nurse Corps and was very fortunate to be assigned to an oncology unit. In 1987, I was accepted to do my master's degree at Yale University uh, and had to do a research project. And at that point, people who had cancer were so sick, we told them just to go home and rest, go to bed, just take care of yourself. And even after taking care of patients for 10 years, that advice didn't really ring true to me. Being in the 
Army, I had to exercise regularly. I had to watch what I ate. And I know that I felt better after I exercised and when I exercised regularly. And I thought that that might be true for patients with cancer also. And so sure enough, I did one of the very first studies. It was very simple, just asking women who had gone through breast cancer surgery and treatment if they were able to exercise and then how they felt afterwards. Well, no big surprise now, although it was a surprise at the time, the women who were able to exercise did feel better and had a higher quality of life. So that hooked me on not only the scientific method, but documenting the benefits of exercise in populations of people that we hadn't normally thought about uh, exercising. I was recruited in 2008 to join the faculty at the University of Texas Health Science Center here in San Antonio by Dr. Alan Peterson. And Dr. Peterson had just been funded to conduct a series of clinical trials uh, looking at evidence-based treatments for post-traumatic stress disorder in our servicemen and women. Uh, my study, as part of the consortium, tests exercise in the treatment of PTSD. We recognize that many people run as a coping mechanism to deal with high stress situations. And we were wondering if we could use exercise in combination with talk therapy to make the talk therapy work even better. When you look at the power of medicine and the likelihood that medicine will um, it, uh, resolve an issue somebody's having, exercise has a much bigger effect than most any medication there is out there. It's not as easy. Just taking a pill is a lot easier to do. But exercise is medicine also, and that makes really good sense to me and would help uh, people's quality of life, and that's what I'd like to try and accomplish with my career and the things that I'm doing at the Health Science Center. For more information on UT Health Science Center San Antonio, give them a call at 450-9000. Again, that's 210-450-9000 or head to their website, utmedicine.com. And we'll be featuring different medical professionals from UT Health Science Center San Antonio as a part of Hello, the Doctor is In. <laughs> Coming up, they're about to bring down the house. Local go girls Serena, Chloe, and Mia will perform next. We're going to tell you where you can catch them in concert this weekend. And hey, we're paying it forward. We want you to give 21 of something to someone else. And producer Rossi says paying it forward by giving 21 kisses to this bundle of joy. That means she's waiting for 21 kisses. <laughs> it's our clip. It's a network for young artists to develop their artistic skills. And get this, it's $25 a month and they can take advantage of all these artistic and music classes. Diana Aravalo from the Naya program is here to tell us about this wonderful, affordable program offered to local kids in the area. I mean, $25 and they can go to how many types of classes? So we offer voice, dance, drums, guitar, and of course, piano as well. So for the amount that they spend a month, they can take all those classes or one, but we don't do recitals. We do real shows. So some of the places we've performed at have been Oyster Bake. We've had our own stage at Oyster Bake. We performed at the San Antonio Rodeo, or we've been opening acts at the Majestic Theater. So they get real life experience in the performing arts at our program. So how long has the NIA program been going on? So it started in 1999 by a high school coach that just wanted to provide a music education for kids and it evolved to what it is today so we're very excited about our program but one thing a lot of people don't know is we are Grammy members we have a two-time Grammy winning artist that teaches our vocal class who has toured the world with Janet Jackson as her backup singer Rebecca Valadez so we're so proud to have her on board as a staff member to teach all of our kids and some of those kids are with us today, yes. Serena, Maya, and Chloe. Hi, you guys. Now, how long have they been with the Naya program? So each of them have ranged in different uh, time periods, but I know Mia's family has been with Naya since the beginning, since we've had our family.
around, they're in charge. But also we've had um, one, one of those students been with us just for a few months, another for three years. So it's a great range, but they've all performed as the opening act for Mickey Gilly and Johnny Lee at the Majestic Theater. That's cool, you guys. So, yeah. And that was actually Chloe's first show. Oh. <laughs> when she came to the program. So, um, and I know ever since coming on board, they've gotten so many more opportunities to perform and showcase their talent, and I'm really proud of them. All right, now they're going to be performing this weekend at yes. the Deco District Arts and Music Festival, which is happening Sunday, July 24th, from noon to 10 p.m. at 1800 Fredericksburg Road. For more information on the NIA program, visit salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Take it away, girls. SA Live, Jeff Roper, getting a little tie-dye crazy in here. Art Works, an art studio for kids and big kids like me. That's right. And Maritza Gonzalez Cooper is here, and this is so much fun because we get to make a mess, and That's you get to have right. a cool t-shirt Yes, afterwards. definitely. How long have you been in business? We have been at the Leon Springs location. We have been open 10 years, but overall, the Nacogdoches location has been open 20 years. So we've been serving kids of San Antonio area for 20 years now. And were you an art teacher, or did you just love to do projects. I just and, love to work with kids. Uh, I love art. I like to get messy. So I yes. figured this was the perfect thing for us to do. <laughs> we have done this on my back porch before, but we're going to make tie-dye t-shirts and there's some tricks to this. Yes, definitely. Now we pre-soak these um, in a special solution that allows the cotton to absorb the dye better. So now that they've been pre-soaked, we just lay it out, kind of put the plate underneath in the yeah. middle there's there. A, there's a paper plate yes. up underneath. We want to show you that because that's where we're going to put the dye. Exactly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pinch right in the center right Right here, grab a good amount of cloth. Then we're gonna go ahead and just twist it. So we're just gonna make a belly button. Just keep twisting until you can kind of get all the t-shirt on the plate. I never keep knew this going, is how this works. There you go. So what we're gonna do now is we've got some dye right here set out for us. 
We've got multiple colors to choose from. And the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna choose your center color. And we're gonna go right, like you said, for that belly button right there. Pick okay. your color so out. I'm gonna go big red. And we're gonna just dab. Make sure you're getting lots of dye. <laughs> sorry, I don't think they caught that. You, you said dab. Right. So we're gonna Not go right. Hands. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> Cam Newton called. He said, stop it, quit it. So we go right in the middle, just yes, like this. Almost, exactly. almost like I'm uh, making a rose. Do you exactly. see this? Exactly. And see just this. get that dye all the way through all the layers of cloth right in there. You might have to get some more dye on your little brush here, your sponge brush. I like it when you talk to me like I'm six. <laughs> That's great. Get some dye on your little brush. And that All right. Well, <laughs> I think you, look at that. That looks fantastic. That's going to bleed into the next it effect. Is. I can just yes. feel it. <laughs> so I pick another color. Pick another color and go ahead and grab that. Yellow and blue make green. And that's right. You're good. I learned that from a Ziploc commercial. <laughs> Did you really? Well, yeah, you remember that, right? So if I do yellow, that's going to make orange on the red, right? Right. So, so wait a second. What we're going to uh, do now is we're going to go in a circle around, around the blue. That's right. And you're going up and down now when you're, yes, make sure you're getting more dye on your Sponge brush here. So we keep, and keep going, and, just, and it just goes. That's right. Just all the way around. All the way around. Once we're happy with the way it looks, we're actually going to turn this over. Which one am I in? There you I'm go. Sorry. You're in blue. You're fine. We're going to turn this over when we're done with one side, and we're going to make sure that we uh, follow the same pattern on the other side as well. Oh, so i got to remember this. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be Although you'll see some of the color bleeding through to the other side, so it won't make it too difficult. I'm afraid I'm not. This is not. I've never done this before. Believe what? it or don't. I've Looks never, pretty good I've to never me. done this before, and my kids Looks have done great. this. And you know what? When they bring these home from a birthday party, it's the favorite take home, you know, gift because yes. it's a it's a yes, moment they that they created it, and they exactly. can wear it and I'm they and they keep coming back. What other kind of programs do you offer there at Artworks? Well, we have a multitude of things. We besides our birthday parties and this is one of the options that we can do at a birthday party. Uh, we also have camps going on right now, summer camps. Yeah. Yes, you remember That's right green, spot. right? Yes, sir. We have summer camps, we have classes, weekly classes. We do art night out once a month as well. Now what does that mean? Art night out is when parents get to drop the kids off and go on a date night. It's $20 oh, per wow. child. And the hey, kids are happy because they make cool stuff and they get yes. to take it home with them. And that's look at that. Right. Look at the birthday cakes that exactly. come with the party. Look at that stuff, man. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, <laughs> and that's, you're working with Fondant there. Do you all design that? or have No, they, actually, the, kid, the, the parents the get parents to bring those bring in. The parents bring their yes, own food in and do. you provide the entertainment. Exactly. So for more information, on artworks, just go to salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, and get creative. Thank you, Maritza. For, this is so cool. I can't wait well, to it was have our pleasure. a Thanks new for having us. shirt to play in. This Friday night. Welcome back to the Alamo City's number one way to spend the afternoon, SA Live. I'm Jeff Roper, and if you've always wanted that perfect smile, we have a way for you to make that happen. Garrett Greer is here. He's the Chief Marketing Officer for Celebrate Dental and Braces here to help us give you a deal, okay, That's right. on braces, because parents and grandparents know that <laughs> we're going to make a payment, and we have great ways to make that possible because you offer a free consultation. What does Celebrate Dental offer, and how are you different? So we offer braces and we do general dentistry. And what we offer that's different is, if you're like most people, they probably wonder, why does dentistry have to be so expensive, right? Well, yeah. You know what the answer is? It doesn't really need to be. Uh, we actually asked ourselves the same thing and, and, and decided it, we, our purpose is to make dentistry affordable for our patients. Well, if you're going to run a business, it would make sense if you give people the best price, you'll have more people show up and you'll absolutely. be able to stay in business. That's absolutely right. And, and the Google reviews speak for themselves to that same point because uh, we've had over 400 five-star Google reviews. Okay. Well, so, that's real people talking. About absolutely. You. And you're getting ready to open a fourth location. That's right. We're opening up a, so we have a location on Walsham Road, on Marbach Road, and Bandera, and we're opening up a new one on Commerce actually uh, in just a couple of weeks. So you have found the areas where people have teeth. 
That's right. <laughs> and you are helping those people. And we're helping those people. <laughs> Absolutely. And right. that's what it looks like. When you roll up on a Celebrate Dental Embraces, uh, you know, office, there it is. Absolutely. And they're all over San Antonio. We're going to give you a deal here in, in just a second, so I don't want you to go anywhere. But we have some before and after pictures, and these are success stories. We talk about people that are happy with the work that you've done and people that you've helped, and obviously straightening out teeth and, and making sure people have a good feeling about their smile. Absolutely. It's really rewarding to help people get give people that confidence back that they lack if they have a smile that they're not entirely happy with. There we go. And we have a free consultation, so you can come in and talk with the doctor and He'll answer any questions that you have and help help you decide if braces are right for you. Okay. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be braces. I mean, you can do, there are other options too, right? Yeah, okay. absolutely. So we do, you know, whatever dental work that you might need, um, if you need a root canal or a anything, we, we do it all. And we see people of all ages, so from six months to 106, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, Fiona has asked if you can sew my mouth shut, and that is not a service that we offer. No. <laughs> They, they don't offer that service. Unfortunately not. Stop no. it. Quit it. Uh, <laughs> they do celebrate, though, which is something we love to do. And we, we have an incredible pricing opportunity for everybody that is watching. Yeah, we do. So, so we offer all our patients that free consultation I mentioned. And that comes with no down payment and no credit check for braces. And what we're doing special for today is the first 15 callers, we're actually going to pay the, your first month of braces. Get it's, out of it. It's going to be on us. Get out of it. That's time. right. Really? So our pricing is about 100. It starts at 120 dollars a month for braces, and we're gonna we're gonna cover that first month's payment for free for the first 15 people that call. Shut your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> only, because, only because you're a dentist. All right. That's right. It's two ten, uh, four five one. Four of those. That's your mouth wide open, right? Zero, zero, oh, yeah. zero, zero. Yeah. You got it. Oh, there it is. It's just like when you go to the internet. Oh, 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 open up. Uh, 210-451-0000. First 15 callers. The first month's payment on your braces. You got it. Dunzo Malenzo. It's on us. Paid. Thanks to thanks to Garrett and his crowd over there That's at, right. at Celebrate Braces and Dental. We would love for you to take advantage of that. Okay. For more information, all you got to do is look them up. All right. And That's you're right. everywhere all over the city. Thank you. You've made Thank this really so easy to understand. And I, I like the philosophy, too. 210 451. Just like you're going to the dentist. That's right. That's how it works. Zero, uh, zero, zero, zero. There you go. 210 zero, zero, zero. All right. It's great when we get to give you all a deal, too. Coming up, we are celebrating Tim Duncan Day today. How are you paying it forward? Share your 21 for 21. Have questions? <laughs> I earlier and plugged in, we asked you to do 21 good things today in celebration of Tim Duncan Day with use the hashtag 21 for 21. Our executive producer Katie Fellows showing off the high fives for Tim Duncan in the SA Live office. Yeah, with me and the last one she mm -hmm. hit me in the face. That was crazy. <laughs> that was called a slam dunk. And, and then, uh, yeah, look at our 21 hugs for everybody all around the TWE station all day today. Those are some of the people that make this show behind the scenes. And if and, you go to... Oh, you go, you, you found it? No, well, no, I don't know. Okay. Uh, and then on Facebook, Janice Herrera says... Uh, she's going to change her, she changed her profile and cover page to Tim Duncan for 21 days. She put his yeah, picture look. up. She's going to do that. And we're asking you for your 21 for 21. Look at, look at over there. There it is. Right there. Look at, look at Fiona. Yeah. Look at her. She's, uh, she's, she's even got the ball. There it is. <laughs> I try not to drop it. We're having a ball tomorrow. <laughs> gourmet hot dogs. Look who's here. Chungles, the brothers, they make delicious gourmet hot dogs, and guess who's going to be playing? Oh, she's the only act opening for Garth Brooks this current tour. Country singer Karen Rochelle performs live. All right, we want to say thanks for being here today. Thanks, Tim. Yay!